For track and field athletes, the Diamond League is the big show. To compete on the circuit instantly places you amongst the elite of the sport. Isla Del Ponte of Switzerland made her debut on the tour in Monaco. When I knew that I was accepted in, in Monaco, I was so excited. It's like when you have your first Christmas that you remember, or it's really something special because it's your first Diamond League. I went there really happy and ready to take in experience and to learn from the environment and um, from, from the race. But I also know I had the, the cards in my hand to be in the first three places. Isla's coach, Laurent Muley, knew the athlete was ready for the jump up to the big stage. She did good in the winter. We worked hard during uh, this difficult corona uh, period. Um, a lot of basics, longer uh, preparation. And from the first meet, I, I saw some really good things. For us, it was interesting to see uh, how she would be capable uh, in a Diamond League race with athletes who had PBs below 11 seconds to execute the same race than uh, the previous meetings where she was almost alone on the track. In Monaco, Del Ponte would not be alone on the track. Instead, she was taking on some of the highest ranked sprinters in the world. Marie-José Talou and Alea Hobbs were just two athletes with personal bests that dwarfed her own. It's really strange, I never had this feeling, but I don't have any idea of what, what happened from the moment that I got in the start, starting blocks and the 50 meter line. And at that point, when I just did my transition, I realized I was ahead, I was in front, and then I, I just thought, oh, they, they are coming. <laughs> and then I just, kept, I just kept running. Del Ponte also going really well in lane three. She's uh, giving Talu a race here, and she's gonna steam away with this one, and wins by a meter from the athlete in lane five, Alea Hobbs. What on earth happened to Murray Jose Talu? It was just a big moment, just a big smile, and uh, also a little bit of astonishment. I didn't think it could ever happen. <laughs> if you asked me 10 years ago, I would never believe you. Like, do you think that in 10 years you, you might win a Diamond League race? And I would be, you're crazy. <laughs> While Isla's victory in her Diamond League debut shocked many people, her coach thinks it is just a harbinger of bigger things to come. Uh, she was able to focus on herself, on her lane, on her execution. The goal for that race was to see that she can execute the same, uh, react the same uh, with uh, more uh, opposition. And that's what we discussed afterwards. Um, yeah, you also did this step. It's not that you're just faster, but you're also better mentally and uh, you can handle this kind of situation. I think it taught me to also just let go my emotions and let my body also do uh, what it knows to do because I'm training for it every day and sometimes as an athlete we're too much in our heads and thinking too much I have to do this and this but what about if I do this what if I fail and at that point I was just okay it's my first time in league anything can happen let's see what happens and it, it went smoothly. Since her breakout debut Del Ponte has solidified her place as one of the circuit's rising stars. She now has three wins on the circuit, three national records, and a fifth place finish at the Olympic Games. Looking back, it was her first win in Monaco that set the table for all of that success. I wanted to go there to take the win home, but that, that was a thing that I, I had in myself and I didn't want to say to anybody. And uh, actually winning at my first Diamond, Diamond League, it was, it was such a, a nice moment and I think I will sh cherish it for forever.